please welcome to the stage Sister Zara Muhammad. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. It gives me great pleasure and honor to address you all today. And it's so nice to be reunited. I wanted to begin first with a tribute and a thanks to Islam Channel. Because before I was even elected, they gave me a hard time. We decided we were going to do the most terrifying thing that you could do, which was to broadcast me live on a hustings for the election. And never in my life did I think, wow, how many countries in the world just watch me sweat? <laughs> Terrifying. But I guess the philosophy of Islam Channel is, we want to amplify the great work that is going on in our communities, and we want to make you earn your stripes. So certainly, before the election, you have been part of my journey. Today, what I wanted to share with you all, if you'll kindly listen, is what it has meant to be the youngest, first Scottish, and first female Secretary General of the MCB. <laughs> I wanted to share a point about defining moments and moments of change. A year and four months ago, British Muslim communities made an important decision about the leadership that they wanted. They chose to elect a woman, a young woman from Scotland at the helm of the organization because it was a message that whilst you paint us in one way, whilst you choose to define us, we will no longer be defined. We have our own voice. And whilst the 50% of British Muslims are under the age of 25, we are ready for that challenge. We are ready to provide a leadership that is ready for the future. As some of you have maybe seen from my Instagram, I've been traveling around the country, visiting our communities. Why did I do it? Because it's important to see what is actually happening. So here's what I learned. I learned that the contribution of British Muslim communities, especially during this time, has been incredible. The support that we have provided the most vulnerable, despite the politics, the way that communities have come together despite phenomenal loss, phenomenal grief, and phenomenal hardship has been something we should all take and reflect on. And I wanted to share with you my visit to a primary school in Manchester where an eight-year-old girl put her hand up and she said to me, how do you deal with stress? So the eight-year-old girl asked me, Everyone, including our teachers, were looking at her thinking, stress? What have you got to be stressed about? And her teachers told me that Zara, when they walk to school, they're picked on because of their hijab. They're verbally abused. And so this is exactly what she is stressed out about because young British Muslims today have a lot to worry about. And as we mark the MCB's 25-year anniversary, we consider the most important question, and that is the question that I pose to you all. What is the next 25 years going to look like for British Muslims? Are we confident that our young people are going to get the best opportunity and the best chance? Are we confident that our institutions are ready and up for the occasion? With the politics being more hostile than it's ever been before, to be Islamophobic isn't that bad when we hear it all the way from the top, when political parties are point scoring at the expense of our communities, when being a visibly Muslim woman means you really have to look back over your shoulder and worry about your employment opportunities. So my question to you all is, are we ready? And finally, to reflect on a story, I spent four days recently in Wales because I wanted to visit the nation. And I wanted to say that we as MCB is a leadership for everybody. But I was, I was really taken aback when I visited a school and another young sister asked me, so Zara, are you proud of yourself? 
And I was quite taken aback by the question, are you proud of yourself? And I thought to myself, I don't know, but I really think in this room, we should be proud of ourselves, shouldn't we? I think we should be proud of ourselves. Because just like a lot of people are looking up to me, and I'm sure as my, with my great age, you're all looking up to me now. <laughs> a lot of young people are looking up to us, and they're waiting. And a very wonderful sister in the MCB said to me, Zara, I've been waiting for you for 22 years. I was holding the door open for you. And so I say to myself, I guess that's my responsibility and all of our responsibilities today. Shall we hold the door open and let more people through? Shall we open our arms and our hearts? And shall we ask Allah to make us of those who grant the best way, not just for us, but for everybody to come? So thank you so much for listening. Congratulations, Islam Channel. Belated Eid Mubarak. And I hope you have a wonderful evening. May Allah accept it from us. Ameen. Let's hear it for Zara Muhammad.